I'm on my way to my second orienteering competition. At my first competition, I learnt basic map and compass skills and completed a simple orienteering course entirely on my own. Well, almost entirely on my own. Today I'm planning on doing an orienteering course with more challenging navigation and hopefully learning a few more advanced skills. Hi, Hi I'd like to do a green course today, please. I do, and a compass too, please. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm an old hand at this now. Today I've chosen to do a course with moderate navigation. That means not all of the controls are on linear features, such as tracks and fences. I'll have to rely on my compass to navigate my way through the forest. My course is also a little bit longer today. I wonder what time it gets dark. During that walk to the start, everyone else seemed to be knowing which way they were going to the first control. But I'm still not sure. Deciding which way you are going to go to a control is one of the most important components of competitive orienteering. It's called route choice, and the fastest route choice for one competitor may not be the fastest for another. As this is only my second event, I thought I'd enlist some more help. Hi Ollie, I see you brought your map. Of course. Well that's really good because I thought you might help me with some route choice. How would I go to that next control? Well I'd probably go this way, but because you're starting out, this way is probably the safest. But it's not necessarily the fastest. No, not necessarily the fastest, but it means you'll definitely find your first control. You can't always tell which way the fastest is until you've got back and you've compared with other competitors. Oh, and that's what the electronic timing ship would do as well. Of course. But because we're using control cards today, we won't actually be able to find that out. Maybe we can just run to the next control together and see which way is quickest. Sounds like a good idea, but I hope you won't be waiting too long. I'll take it easy on you. Okay. You look like you've been here for hours. Only a minute and a half. So that means that my route choice was a minute and a half slower than yours. Uh, not taking into account running speed, yes. But you got here, you didn't make any big mistakes, and that's what counts in the long run. What if I did make a navigational mistake? Well, that depends on how lost you do get. Oh dear. Well, shall we do the next control? All right, let's go. Making a navigational mistake or worse, getting lost, is something I don't really want to think about. But I have a feeling that I'm going to have to confront it sooner or later. 